Grubholz with Sony Creative Software. I'd like to talk to you for a second about the uh, third-party plugins that come bundled with Acid Pro 7. We've included guitar amp emulation software from Native Instruments. We've got the Garretton Aria player. We've got Isotope plugins, and we've got Submersible Kit Core of VST for drums. $500 worth of uh, add-ins to the software, and let's take a look at how they work. So in this project, I can talk about three of the four um, third-party add-ins that we've included with Acid Pro 7. Uh, we've got a track of MIDI here, and the thing that is really nice about the kit core, the submersible kit core VST for, VSTi for drums, is that you get very, very realistic sounding drums. And what we did is we set a drummer down at a MIDI drum kit, so it was a, a, an actual real live drummer playing real live drums. We recorded the MIDI, and what we ended up was uh, this. What we ended up with is this track. So let's go ahead and play this and listen to what those drums sound like. And I'll solo the drums. Very natural sounding. Sounds like a sounds like a, an acoustic kit. Now the neat thing about this, because it's a VSTi, uh, a VST instrument, is we can change that to be uh, different sounds. So I'm going to come to my mixing console here and open up the interface for the kit core drums. And let me just dock this back down out of the way. And I'll bring this up so that you can see it. So right now, this project uses uh, a Ben Smith kit. But I've got a drop-down list of different kits. And I can load another kit in there. And then we'll hear what the project sounds like with a different drummer's kit. So if I play this now, we're using the Matt Sorum kit. And it's got a different sound. It's got a different ambience and, and different energy to it than the, than the other kit. Uh, we can use uh, maybe this old time kit, John Bishop kit. So the point is we've got all these different kits and once we've recorded the MIDI, we can then change the kit to sound like whatever we want it to sound like, whatever works for our tune. Okay, so that's the submersible kit core um, drum VSTi. Now one thing that I wanted to point out about that, let me go back to the mix console. It works real nicely with our mixing console because the, the kit core VSTi enables me to break the sounds of the drums out into separate outputs. And so I've taken those drums and broken them out into nine different outputs that Acid Pro 7 supports um, and kit core also supports. So that basically what I've done is broken each individual piece of the kit out into its own channel so I have total mixing control over that drum mix now. So very realistic sounding drums from the kit core uh, VSTi. Also, we've included native instrument guitar combos. And I've got a couple of guitar tracks here that utilize those. So let's go ahead and play this. And this lead guitar that comes in is using the native instrument guitar amp emulation. Now again, because it's, it's a VST plug-in, I can change the sound of let me solo that track. Okay, so I can solo this and find different guitar sounds, different effects. And if I don't like any of the presets, I can come up and tweak it completely with the, the knobs. So this is uh, the Plex combo. We also include the Twang uh, amp emulator and the AB Box emulator for three different uh, amp types. So this is very powerful uh, stuff, especially when you're comping out uh, a recording part and you don't know exactly what sound you want. You don't have to worry so much about the sound you get going, up, going in at the beginning because you can change it later at any time you want to. Also, as long as we're here, let's uh, jump into um, back into the effects and talk about the isotope effects. I can add uh, the isotope rack effect uh, effects rack plugins. So here's my new chain. And with the isotope uh, effects rack plugin, we've got uh, an analog delay that we can apply. We have total control over the delay, the, the, the number of echoes, the length of the delay, and so forth. Very powerful tools. A chorus flanger. Each of them has their separate interface, very easy to use. Um, the uh, dynamics. So we've got uh, limiter, compressor, an expander, and a gate, and so forth. 
uh, and finally the, the phaser. And the Isotope plugins, Isotope is really be coming on strong as one of the leaders in VST plugins um, for your digital audio workstation. So we're real excited to have these uh, plugins in our software. Now the fourth third party plugin that we've included with Acid Pro 7 is the Garretin Aria Player. And I've got a MIDI track uh, in my project here that I've got routed to the player and I've got that track soloed. It sounds like this. I can bring up the bring up the ARIA interface and change the sound to whatever I want to change it to. So once it loads and starts playing, let me just start it from so we've got some very high quality sounds, a good selection of different sounds um, that we can use. Let's try this violin. Yeah. So very nice, high quality sounds from Garretin included as a third party add-in to Acid Pro 7. So as you can see, we've got a nice package of add-ins from third parties that come included with Acid Pro 7.